What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we are on the test server. The fourth major update in Scrolls, Rebellion, is being released tomorrow, Tuesday, February 25th. It brings 56 new scrolls, new store items, and new abilities to help spice up your matches. In case you haven't been around the last few weeks, I will go through a complete rundown of everything new in the Rebellion update in this video. Even if you have been following all the updates, I went through all the change logs, look at all the posts, and I think there's some things that haven't been really be talked about, so you might learn something new anyways. These are the 56 brand new scrolls that the Rebellion update introduces. There are 14 new order scrolls, 14 new energy scrolls, 14 new growth scrolls, and 14 new decay scrolls. Four of the new 56 scrolls are called Champions. These are the four champions that are being released. They all have the trait unique. It is a new trait. That means you can only have one of the kind of creature on the board at a time. Because it's extremely powerful and having multiple ones on the board at the same time would just be too strong. So many people are excited about these four champions, one for each faction. They are these extremely high cost creatures, but they can be very game changing. Along with Unique, two more new traits have been uh, released. There is Pillage and Dominion. Dominion is a trait exclusive to Order and Decay, and Pillage is a trait exclusive to Energy and Growth. And what the two do is Dominion, it would say Dominion or Pillage, and then after the colon it would have another ability, and that ability would be activated if it's Dominion when at least one opponent idol is destroyed and if it's pillage it will be activated when that creature deals damage to an idol. So those were all the new scrolls but also there have been a few changes to scrolls and these are the scrolls that have been changed. These are old scrolls but now they will be different post for rebellion. So the three main ones are Crimson Bull is now three cost, it used to be two cost. Kinfolk Veteran now has three health, it used to have four health and Necrogeddon now costs 7 resources, it used to cost 6. Oh yeah, and Road, now you can target enemy structures as well as your own, so that got a lot better. And all these cards, Mystic Altar, Night Scholar, Brother of the Wolf, Machine Priest, Curse Monger, and kind of Legion Ring, they all used to say after you do its other ability like spawning a wolf or cursing something, you raise its countdown by 2, but now you just reset its countdown to the base countdown so now these will work with things like fleetness which they didn't work before. Now let's take a look at the new things you can buy in the store. So these are the new explorer packs. 10 scrolls picked randomly from all factions. You are guaranteed to get 2 uncommons and 1 rare in this pack. At least 4 of the scrolls are from the latest set. So this is the exact same thing as a scroll pack except for it's 200 extra gold but you're guaranteed to get at least four new scrolls from Rebellion, and I guess in future updates it will be whatever the latest set is. So these will help you build your collection faster if those are the ones you're looking for. And if we scroll down, for the first week of Rebellion, after so a week from Tuesday, during the whole week, every single day the Just For You section is going to be updated with six new scrolls, and they will be from Rebellion only. So that will also help you build your rebellion collection and there are four new pre-constructed decks with champion themes there's rise of the Urhald, reaver's revenge touch of nuru and envy of the empire these were helped made by uh, blinky so you can thank him for putting all these Rebellion scrolls in here so we can get our hands on them pretty fast. And those are the new things in the store. Oh yeah, also, you can now, in random scroll packs or scroll packs or all, all these things, you have a very small chance of getting a upgraded tier 2 or tier 3 scroll. And those have more uses now than they had before, and I'll get to that in a bit. There are 13 new trials. There are two more easy ones, four more medium ones, 
and there are seven more hard trials. So these will provide more ways to get gold and they're a nice challenge to more experienced players. Judgment has received an overhaul. There is now fixed rarity among rows, so everybody will have a fair chance of obtaining rare scrolls and all that. Now, decks are destroyed after either reaching two losses or five wins. So this gives you a chance to still get five wins, even with losing your first match or something. And because of this, they changed the reward system a little bit. This is the new reward system. And they're also lowering the entry cost from 1,000 gold. They have not said what it will be, but it will be a little bit lower than that. And as you can see, in Judgment, this whole row is all rares. This is all commons. This is all uncommons. And a nice little fix also is that there will be no more times where you'll have two of the same exact scroll in the same row. They fix that. There's also many UI improvements as well. Now, the person whose turn it is, their, their box around their name here will be highlighted, so that will easier be able to tell whose turn it is without having to look at whose avatar is bigger. Also, you can see what your opponent last sacked for if it was cards or resources by what is highlighted over here. So we can see the hard AI sacked for resources last turn. And if I do the same, does that and as you can see there's a new background here there have been seven new backgrounds and I'll show you those right now Thank you so much to Orangey for providing those images. Now what I said about the tier 3 scrolls being better now is that now, as you can see right here, tier 3 scrolls now slightly increase match rewards. Drawing a tier 3 scroll increases a multiplier capped at 50%. After a game, match rewards are increased by this amount. So this is going to mean that there's incentive to make tier 3 scrolls before there was no incentive because all they did was they looked a little cooler but they didn't really do anything that great but now they're gonna they have a potential to increase your gold reward for every single match by 50 percent that is awesome and it will really reward the players who've been really collecting scrolls and crafting them and another thing with the uh, tier 3 scrolls is that some people don't like the way they look now in the settings menu you can un-upgrade scrolls vid visuals so now you won't see tiers tiered scrolls as their like shiny versions you'll just see them normally but they'll still be tiered so there's a setting for that in case people really want it when the update hits the live server the testing grounds will also be updated testing grounds will have mulligans and 75 second timers so the, the testing grounds are going to be back to 10 health idols down the row or the column but the mulligans means that at the start of your match you have a button you can click to redraw your starting hand so that will reduce all the bad starting hands that just you lose matches because of luck so we're going to try this out in testing grounds and I assume if it goes well Mojang will add its stuff like ranked and judgment And here is a new nice little uh, feature. If you click on the unit in the deck builder, it will do its attack animation. So that's pretty cool. I'll just show you all the champions right now. So she doesn't really do anything, but she just spawns husks. That's awesome. <laughs> Another cool little feature 
is now in the login screen. There is a did you know or tips box down here that will probably help new players learn a little bit. There is lots of, there's a whole page of like a lot of new tips and did you know things. And this one says sacrificing for either resources or scrolls every turn maximizes the use you get from each scroll, which is true. And I think these nice little tips down here will be uh, nice for new players to read. On the profile screen, now it shows unique types out of the 300 scrolls because it adds 56 new scrolls so now there's going to be 300 a nice round number and it will tell you how many of the 300 you have so that's cool to gauge your collection there are now new search filters to help you better easier find the scrolls you want to find so these new filters are AP colon which is attack points so you can say AP 4 and it will give you all the units with 4 attack and then there is HP which is health so that's the 4 health units and then there is um, CD countdown pretty self explanatory only 4 countdown units yeah it works with other numbers too a lot of 2 countdown units and then there is um, FL which is for the flavor text so you can search in this flavor text down here so if I search oh look oops here look, there's O, man that's uh for the beast rat and then you can uh, search for the tier scroll so if you do lowercase l colon tier 1 that's all the tier 1 scrolls then you can do tier 2 it's tier 2 scroll this is test server so I don't have all my tier 2's and tier 3's um, and that's all I can think of right now. There's there's old ones I think like description, and then you can search like in the description, and then there is um, you can search how many, what number, like how many uh, scrolls do I have four of. So and those also work on the crafting screen, but those are already. I'm not sure why I'm showing in this video because these are already on the live server. You can like search it in the crafting screen as well. And another new thing with the crafting screen, I don't think I can show you it on the test server just yet, but it said in the change log that the crafting screen shows scrolls from starter deck in locked piles. So as you know, when you choose your precon, when you get scrolls, you're never allowed to trade those scrolls, you're never allowed to craft those scrolls, but it's kind of confusing because you can't see them in the deck builder, but I guess they're going to be in this locked pile somewhere, so it'll be easier to understand why they're not showing up. And now there's a bunch of random things I want to go through. So I probably should have said this before, but the, so as you know, tiered scrolls have stats down here. And uh, the reason this one doesn't have is I haven't played with it. But now when you trade a tiered scroll to another account, the stats are wiped. So you don't have to worry about having other people's stats. Also with the search uh, filter bar up here, when you search with a filter, so a search and description look, or just low, it will show you how many table scrolls that match that search. The table is what you have down here, and then the unique types. So if I put this down here, then we'll say one is down there that matches it. So that's cool, helps for some organization. When you used to cast things like Crimson Bowl and Return to Nature, it would you target the units and then they would all get this little en enchantment effect that said like decomposition for Return to Nature or something. Now that's changed, it's not called an enchantment effect, now it's just an effect. That's just to uh, prevent some like crazy plays with some of the new cards that affect enchanted units. There are lots of bug fixes, like in matches now when somebody's a really long name, it's not cut off anymore. You could actually read it. Um, a new, I think this is still here, I can't find it right now, but I believe now in the spectate lobby, there is going to be a little checkbox over here or something that says join matches before they start. So right now a big problem with the spectate mode in scrolls is that you can't, you usually miss the beginning of matches because of the delay so people can't cheat and see their opponent's hands they have a like couple minutes delay 
and that makes it so you can't actually join a match right when it starts. So when that thing, when that box is checked off, you will probably be able to enter matches, but just not see the start. But you'll be in there, so you don't miss like the first couple of rounds, which can be crucial. So I believe I, that was in a couple like updates ago. I'm not sure where it is right now, but I believe it will be added. And now, scrolls remembers more things. So it uh, has session memory for the control stats when you well when you're in a match as many of you know if you click control the stats for the idols and all the units will toggle to be always on but then every time you enter the match you have to click control to make it toggle on uh, they updated it so now if you have it toggled on it will remember that they are on for in between matches and even in between sessions of logging in so you don't have to click control every time you enter the match anymore um, now in the deck builder when you log out and stuff it will remember how you sorted it last by numbers or um, by numbers or alphabetically it also remembers what custom chat rooms you were in last time so if I join the custom chat room badger because I'm in the badger guild now I don't have to every time I log in I don't have to type in join room badger to join because if I log out of scrolls right now and come back I will automatically join me to badger because I was in that custom chat room when I left and also finally the uh, this doesn't really have to do that much with the other stuff but when you log into scrolls you are automatically joined to a general lobby and the maximum auto join for the general lobbies used to be 30 and it has been moved to 50 which is probably going to be good because then you might have some more discussion because there's more people in one lobby and the last thing I wanted to mention is there are a bunch of moderators in the game that have been for a while. Uh, I can't name them all off the top of my head, but there's like Blinky, Sis, Simi Scrollin, Titine, Acid Jib, uh, Spiffy Drew, um, Tin Fox, and maybe a few others like I think Evil Ice and K Bastion too. And there's maybe a couple more than that. I just can't uh, think of them on top of my head. I couldn't find a definitive list anywhere. But they can now ban users from chat rooms for up to a week or can mute you up for up to an hour so make sure you are not being rude you're not uh speaking with bad language and you want to be a nice kid in the scrolls community so i guess that's all i have to say that's i think i went through absolutely everything i could find in the change log on scrolls.com everything that's coming out in this new update so i hope it filled you in if you didn't know. I hope maybe you learned something that even if you have been following this up, there's a lot of little things that they hadn't talked about that much. And like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you like this kind of content, and keep on scrolling everybody. I'll see you next time.